enormous news out of college football yesterday. You may have seen this. The Big Ten changing its policy that teams have to play six games to be eligible for the conference championship game. That, of course, is directly because Ohio State cannot play Michigan this weekend. So Ohio State now is eligible to play and will play in the Big Ten championship game a week from Saturday against Northwestern. The 5-0 Buckeyes this year had games canceled against Maryland and Illinois and Michigan. And so here is our college football crew, Paul and Heather. Heather, take us inside this decision from the Big Ten. How and why did this go down? Sure, Greeny. On Wednesday morning, all 14 athletic directors and Big Ten Commissioner Kevin Warren were on a video conference, and they came to the recognition that, look, if Ohio State would have played Michigan, win or lose, they still would have been atop the Big Ten East Division standings and played in the conference championship game because of that head-to-head -head win against Indiana. Multiple people I talked to told me that this meeting was very collaborative, it was very positive, and I did speak, because we talked about this yesterday, Greeny, I talked with Iowa Athletic Director Gary Barda, and he told me that he told Kevin Warren he was going to recuse him himself from the vote. He did not participate in the discussions because he is the CFP committee chair, but he was on the call. He wanted to listen in. And everyone, obviously, Indiana's athletic director express, expressed his disappointment, but there was a general consensus that this made sense for them. Okay, so now let's get into some of the opinion. Those are the facts. That's what's happened, and that's what's going to go forward. But, Paul, I want you to react first to this. Can we put the David Pollack tweet up there? Because I, I like that tweet from David yesterday. He tweeted, I think the Big Ten did make the right decision to change their rules again. But, man, I'm curious as heck to know if they would have done it if Indiana and Ohio State were in reverse roles. Paul, what do you think? Well, I think Pollock has a good point because, Greeny, this is all about Ohio State. I mean, the, the Big Ten may as well just change its name to the Ohio State Conference because that's what this has been about since August. And when, when things shut down, uh, Ohio State and Nebraska were fighting. Get, let, let us back in the game. Remember Justin Fields, uh, you know, protesting and, and, and leading that very courageously. And when they finally came back, uh, you know, the six games was just a, was just an arbitrary figure because they had eight and they figured they, they may lose a couple. They didn't realize the pandemic would get as bad as it is currently going on right now. So this is no surprise. Uh, and, 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 you know, it, this happens in every walk of life. Uh, so let's not act like uh, this happened in the dark of night. This is about Ohio State and it always has been. Okay, fair enough. So let's now take a look at what the ramifications of it might be. By giving Ohio State the opportunity to play for this Big Ten championship, let's live in a world where they win, which I do not think is a foregone conclusion. Northwestern is going to give them a tough game. But let's just, <laughs> let's just live in a world where they are a 6-0, and 6-0 Big Ten champ. And Florida beats Alabama in the SEC title game. Paul Feinbaum, who gets into the playoff, Alabama or Ohio State? Well, uh, I would think Alabama would uh, because, uh, you know, Alabama's played a complete schedule and, and Alabama has played a much better schedule. So, I mean, what we really have to wonder about is, you know, is there room at the end for Ohio State? And, and Greeny, if Florida beats Alabama and they'll be a prohibitive underdog and then Clemson beats Notre Dame, uh, Ohio State uh, has, will be sitting on the sidelines watching because there, there simply won't be any room for them. And, and I don't think you could put Ohio State with a 6-0 record and a win over Northwestern and Indiana and compare and contrast that to Notre Dame uh, beating Clemson and, and some of the other schools they have played, and obviously Alabama, uh, I think is in regardless. What do you think, Heather? I think that the, I think it's a good question, Greeny, but I think where it's going to be the biggest debate in the selection committee meeting room, without a doubt, is if your scenario plus no, Clemson beats Notre Dame because that fourth spot would boil down to Notre Dame without an ACC title and Ohio State with a Big Ten title. And that conference championship is a tiebreaker in that selection committee meeting room, which is fascinating to me because Notre Dame joined the ACC and has a chance to win it. But they could be in the same spot they always are as an independent, hoping their resume wins out. So this does come down to that, Paul. Very quickly, I have 20 seconds left. Same question. If it comes down to Notre Dame with one loss and a win on their resume against Clemson or a 6-0 Ohio State, who do you put in? 
I would put Notre Dame in, and, and, and I've been a proponent for Ohio State to have a chance. But, but, but Heather makes a great point. Uh, that data point is normally very important. But I'm not sure that Big Ten data point is going to count as much this year with, with a five-game regular season schedule for the Buckeyes than it would normally when they have to play uh, the, the full complement. Right, when they very obviously changed the rules at the very end just to get them <laughs> that opportunity. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.